everyone i'm so sorry about the setup everything's just gone all wrong so please just excuse if the camera wobbles let me try and see if i can please excuse if the camera wobbles and everything else my kitty's here and as usual he loves to get involved and he keeps on jumping up on the thing if you see the way i've got this thing hitch up it's yeah it's not great and he keeps on jumping up on it uh, anyway i went to whole foods today i had a chance to shop by myself the hubby eldest and second eldest they went out they went go-karting and the younger three that the younger three at my mum's so i had a chance to go and shop in peace and I went to Whole Foods to get some dairy free products some vegan stuff just so that I can have some bits around the house so it was really packed it was packed down Camden I went to the Camden one it was packed down there today obviously Sunday it was very hot today so everybody was out everybody was um, having a good time it was really nice the atmosphere was really good but it was really really busy so I didn't vlog down there and Whole Foods was heaving with people. There were so many people. It must be a thing to shop at Whole Foods on a Sunday. It must be. They closed at nine o'clock in the evening, which I didn't even realise. So we went to church, dropped off the youngers, came back home. The three that were going go cut and got ready, went out. I had to put on this headscarf because my hair was flaking. I had my hair nice, ready, done it from, washed it on Friday, set it up and everything else, had Saturday for it to dry. This morning, which was Sunday, I took my hair down and flakes oh my gosh I don't know what's going on but I'm just having problems with these gels they keep flaking it's just a nightmare so I had to put my hair all back I tried to slick it down as best as I could um, in the car and when I got to church it was still flaking I had to flake it was terrible my lovely auntie had to take off some flakes off my hair go shame you know they've gone rushed in and she's there and I was the same I had to like mouth to her whispering don't play with my hair oh, it was terrible so when I came back home I just said you know what I'm just gonna fling on a headscarf if I tell you the trials and the crosses of this headscarf, I put on my headscarf and it just kept on slipping up. It kept on slipping off, slipping off, slipping off. So in the end, you know what I had to do? I had to do a hack and use leggings. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy like the haul part and, and I'll do a little bit of a taste test at the end. So keep on watching for the haul and like I said, I'll be back and I'll do a taste test at the end. See you in a bit. Pepper Jack style slices, avocado hummus. Tofu chocolate cheesecake, the vegan one. Tofu, some fresh pumpkin gnocchi. Biolife slices with herbs, the vegan cheese. Um, Linda McCartney's vegetarian country pies. This hasn't got milk in it. It says it's suitable for vegans there. Um... Classic Bavarian burgers, and this is the tofu as well from Veggie Kitchen Vienna or something like that. The tofurkey smoked maple bacon made from tempeh. I've heard of tofurkey from like forever, but this is the first time I've actually seen it. And Alora's idea vegan calzone or calzoni I finally got my hands on some vital wheat gluten flour I can't wait to make some recipes with this I found some condensed coconut milk I know it's not that healthy but this is an alternative for um, the dairy condensed milk when I bake stuff and I also found the evaporated coconut milk and this is I'm going to use it for pumpkin pie because the recipe that I found and that I'd been using prior to my dairy intolerance or allergy it had condensed milk in it and I just didn't really know what to use instead but I found this evaporated coconut milk um this vegan pesto I love pesto and the ones that I have seen have got dairy in it so this one is the vegan one and this vegan Caesar salad dressing I bought two of these whole earth organic sparkling colas these are really really nice I had them before and these are sweetened with agave I 
got this one to try the lemon and lime it's like a sparkling water um i haven't had this one before but it was on offer the fuji water i bought two of them these were on offer and i really like this water i know you know i know that artisan water is kind of like one of them things where people say it doesn't really taste any different but to me it does this cold brew coffee is made with almond milk it's dairy free and soy free i've had this before i tried it i really like it they, they only had a small pack today they only had the small bottle today and this is just a normal um pellegrino i think that's how you pronounce it sparkling water this isn't really that special but i wanted something for the journey home and i fancied something sparkling but i'm really because i'm drinking so much water other drinks are a little bit sweet so i just picked up this and now for the snacky bits i bought um some of these hip peas i really like these i've had these before this is the herb one it says in herbs we trust this one fajita far out fajita and i bought two of the cheese and love because I really, really miss, like, you know, the cheesy puffs like Watsits and Cheetos and stuff like that. I really miss them. So this has got a cheese flavour, but they're vegan. And I picked up this raw omba. This is the cocoa milk one. It has no, no real milk in there. It's, it's raw chocolate. Let me see. Yep, yeah, it's vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, organic, and it's refined sugar-free which is really really good i've had um i've had the raw chocolate bar before for when i fancy something a bit sweet and a bit like um when i fancy a bit of chocolate or something sweet and this bagel bar i've seen and heard it all over and i know i know that i shouldn't be eating so much sugar but i thought i'll pick it up and try it and i just had a piece and i'll put it away and i'll have another piece maybe in a couple of weeks time this i'm gonna butcher this this i don't know if i'm gonna i don't know if i'm gonna pronounce this right manomasa 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 i'm not sure this is the serrano chili and yucatan honey this won't be vegan because it's got honey in there but um it hasn't got any cheese or anything and i actually bought these to go with the avocado hummus and I also bought two of these kiwis and a two pack of mango because when I was there, when I was looking at some of the um, snacks that I could have today, because I'm quite hungry, they had a fruit pot and it had kiwis, mango and strawberry in there, but it was quite pricey for the size of the pack. So I just thought, let me buy um, some of the mango and we can all eat this we could all eat these mangoes and the kiwi the kiwis were only 39p and i have strawberries at home <laughs> so i'm going to do my own version and these are the non-edible items i picked up i picked up this pistachio oil i have been wanting this oil from since we was in dubai i think 2014 or 2015 while we was there i needed some oil and i picked up the macadamia nut oil because I really wanted that and it was hard for me to find it <clears throat> excuse me it was hard for me to find it over here when I was in the shop I saw the pistachio nut oil next to it and silly me just picked up the macadamia nut only and since then I've been looking for the pistachio nut oil so when I saw this in Whole Foods I had to close my eye pick it up and just just buy it I also picked up this organic tamunu or tamanu oil this is by the Fushi brand and at the moment they've got special offer on their Fushi items. They've got, I think it's 25% off. They've got the carrot seed oil, the black cumin oil, which I might go back and get. Um, I think they had shea butter. Yeah, they had shea butter and castor oil and some other nice oils. Oh, um, pomegranate seed oil, which is really, really good, but I already have. So I left that one and they also have a rosehip oil. But I also have one of them. So if you're looking for some oils at the moment. And they're organic as well. I also picked up. I also picked up this Direct Leave-In. 
the Weightless Moisture Conditioner by Giovanni. This was on offer, that's why I picked it up because I love this stuff, love it. And it was on offer, so it jumped in my basket and I took it home with me. And these are just a couple of bits I picked up on my journey. I went into Super Drugs and I went in there for this spray plaster and some eye drops. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. This is my a proper staple for my bag. Um, I put it on the boys if they cut themselves. It's great for in the mornings when we're going to school, if something happens along the way, or even if, you know, sometimes when they've got cuts at school, the school don't want to change their plasters or they don't want to give them a plaster. So it's good to have so that I can just put it on there and it forms a waterproof barrier. My one's run out, so I went to get it. And also some eye drops. My allergies are causing my eyes to be so itchy, so sore. So I needed to replace the eye drops that I have because I've had them for a while. And you know when you get to the counter and the person always asks you, oh, would you like to try some of our perfume that we've got an offer? And normally I say no, because the one that they had today I didn't want, but something i just said have you got any juicy couture because they never have the juicy couture on offer so he said yeah this is on offer and it was half price but plus today there was an extra 25 percent off so i was i was well chuffed it's the malibu one and when i was walking past the high street i saw an american candy shop and i know that americans they have like some sugar-free varieties to this to their sweets so I went in to have a look I found Jolly Rancho in sugar free and the Twizzlers in sugar free and also I saw this stupid thing Bean Boozled you know my sons they've been begging me to do the Bean Boozled challenge or whatever it's called but I didn't want to buy the big old pack and everything else and I just saw these little ones I don't even know if I'm really going to be doing it you know because on here it says that you know you eat the 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 bean or whatever it's called and some of them have got it's got the nice flavours like butter popcorn but then it could be rotten egg or peach or it could be vomit. I'm not going to be yumming something that tastes like vomit. So I think I might just let them do it still. Yeah, I'm not really too sure about that. But anyway, yeah, that was them. So I hope you like the haul. Now on to the taste test. I am tasting the vegan calzone. It says it's got tomatoes, peppers, cabbage, onions, parsley, coriander, leek, sunflower oil homemade fresh tofu spread which has got soybeans and it's gm it's gm free lemon juice olive oil black pepper mint and sea salt so this is what it looks like quite big i'm so hungry i haven't eaten since about 11 o'clock this morning and it's now around and it's now around seven so i heated it up let's look like let's have a look at what it looks like inside so that's what it looks like inside so i'm just going to try it now it's okay Excuse me, clapping my lips. It's okay. The spice is quite nice. I can't eat that much hot food at the moment, that hot um, spice wise. But this has got spices, really nice spices. But it's not, it's not too hot. Um, the the this bit, what's this called? The tortilla is quite soggy. Let me have a little bit more. It's quite soggy. But I don't know if that's because I heated it up in the microwave. I'm not sure. I didn't fancy eating it cold. And if you can see, it's got like the peppers, carrots. Mm. Let me try a bit of the corner bit because whenever I'm eating something, the corner bits are my favourite. Mashing this up. Right, let me get a mid. Let me get a middle bit to get a proper taste. Mmm. It is nice. I must admit, it is nice. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, please excuse me. Behind me, I've got a light coloured um, wall. And I don't know why I chose light colour with boys, young boys. If you can see all handprints, fingerprints, right in. So please just excuse that. Don't watch that. So the next thing I'm going to try is this tofu chocolate cheesecake and it's the vegan one and this is by Laura's idea as well it says it's made with GM free soya beans organic cacao powder organic coconut sugar oat flakes organic coconut flakes walnut cinnamon and vanilla extract mm, smells good see here Smells really, really good. And when I have my little dessert, I love to use these spoons. I know I'm extra. I love to use these spoons. It's just like a coffee spoon, but I love eating dessert with it. Let me just try a bit of it all together. And that's what it looks like. Please excuse the lighting. It's getting really dark. Mmm. I don't think it was a good idea to try coconut though because now I'm speaking and it feels like it's in my teeth but this tastes really good I can taste like the I can taste that it's with cacao powder let me just move some of the coconut to the side and get some of the moussey bit there this is a tofu bit with the cacao powder I guess mmm that tastes good and then that's the bay okay I'm back now I had some storage issues so I had to delete some things and also it got really dark in that short little time so I just turned on the light so I'm just gonna wrap this up because it's getting really dark um, and I think I got to the base this is the base here I don't really think this is like a cheesecake this reminds me just like of a it reminds me more of a dessert than a um than a, a cheesecake it's really nice but I thought it would have like a cheesecake more of a cheesecake feel like the base is quite soft the middle bit's really nice but it's not the middle bit is more like a mousse and the top the top's just like coconut and like a cakey thing it's really nice though it is quite a lot. I'd have to share this because it's quite rich. And lastly, this whole... As I'm looking, I'm seeing that I got a tan today. If you can see here, look, the um, difference between hair and hair. I've got a lovely tan today. Very, very nice. Very nice. But anyway, so this is the Whole Earth Organic Sparkling Cola. It's made with natural ingredients. It's... Um, I said it's an organic lightly carbonated cola flavoured drink. Please excuse me if I've got things in my teeth. It's sparkling water, agave syrup, lemon juice from concentrate, barley malt extract, natural flavourings, cola flavourings. So, and I have, I've had it before, but it was such a long time ago. I don't know if you could see it bubbling up there. That's the colour, just like the colour of cola. That's really nice. It's really, really good. And because it's flavoured with agave, there's none of that funny aftertaste that some diet drinks have. It tastes really good. The cola, I don't know. I don't know if because it says natural flavourings and natural ingredients, I'm like, ooh, I can taste this, I can taste that. But no, it tastes really good, but it tastes like, um, it doesn't taste like them fake, you know, sometimes you can get some colas, not the big name brands like because I really I'm sorry I really like Pepsi Max and I've cut it down a lot but when I really fancy you know something and I don't think this has got caffeine 
no this hasn't got caffeine which is really good so if when i want a little like a pepsi max hit but i can go for this because this hasn't got caffeine in there and it's not sweetened with sugar it's sweetened by agave and i know that there's like this controversial there's some there's this controversy about agave etc etc but anyway this tastes really really good so I really hope you enjoyed that video. I haven't done a whole video in a very long time. Hopefully I would be doing some more of these taste tests because cutting dairy out of my diet has been quite difficult. It's just amazing how much milk is in all different things. And also so I've mentioned before that I don't eat meat, no dairy. So when I go out, I normally just choose vegan because even if I choose a vegetarian dish, there's often lots of cheese or cream or something in there. So when I go out, I eat vegan and I've dropped my fish intake now as well. So my main diet is vegetables and obviously a starch like um, rice or pasta, sometimes potatoes. I've really, my, my eating habits has really changed. It's, um, I feel for the better, but sometimes I must admit it's, it's not so great because my appetite has really changed as well. But um, for the weight loss, it's brilliant. I love that. I've kind of gone off on a tangent, so I guess that's for another video. But yeah, I'll be doing some more of these taste tests because like I said, I've been trying to find some alternatives to meat, alternative to dairy stuff. And I've been watching a lot of vegan videos and looking at a lot of vegan blogs because I'm not saying that I'm going vegan because I do eat eggs sometimes. So that's the thing. This whole um, lifestyle and stuff like that, so I started to go on to this really long tangent of <laughs> what's new but what I was trying to say is that my eating habits can't really be put into a box or a neat little label. I do eat mostly vegan, I don't eat meat, I don't eat chicken and I've drastically dropped the amount of fish I eat. I eat it maybe once every two months if that. I don't eat any dairy products whatsoever and that includes whey products and milk derivatives etc etc which is quite difficult because I find milk is in everything. So I'll probably be doing another more in-depth video but I will definitely be doing some videos with recipes, tips and hints etc so look out for them. Thanks so much for watching, bye! That's really nice. It's really nice. Excuse me.